hello guys welcome once again and today in this video tutorial i will be showing you how to fetch your data from jtable to jtx field just open your netbeans like this is a program and when I click on this J table the data should appear here in the JTX field so today I will be showing you how to do that so let's get started just click on your J table and right click it just go to event you can see your mouse and just click on mouse click so the source window will appear here here what you have to write is just write here and row or whatever you want to name it like I'm naming it as row j table 1 whatever is the name of a table like my table name is j table 1 so I will be writing j table 1 dot get selected row and just press enter and here we will be writing code for just type here string t or whatever you want to name it as equals to name it as tc and or whatever you want to name it just write here j table one dot get j table one dot get model dot get value at and here we will be writing the row which we have declared here row and here we will be writing the width like I want I want to search search the data by email id so it is at the zero column so just write here whatever column like I am writing is zero and dot to string and just close the bracket and here we will be making a try catch block just make a try catch block here exception e and just write here j option pane dot show message dialog and here we just write null and comma and just write here e in the try catch block we will be writing the query so here we will writing string query equals to whatever the query like query is for selection select star from whatever a name of table is table name is emp just right here from emp where we will be searching by employee id that's why we have written here 0 and here we will be writing same emp id and just write employee id equals to and here we will be writing 
whichever we have which we have whatever decla- we have declared the variable just right here like i have declared tc so just write tc and that's all f- and here we will be executing the command just right here pst equals to con dot prepare statement and just right here query and here pst dot execute query now here we will be writing command like if rs just right here rs equals to dot next so just we will be calling the variable like first is employee id so i will be writing rs dot get and that here we will be writing the column name whatever the column name is like column name is employee id so here we will be writing emp id and just c- copy this and write here One, two, three, four, five, and here we will be writing five times. The another one is employee name, so it will be th- here. The string will come string, and rs dot get string. Here we have to change the name. whatever the column name is emp underscore name just write here emp underscore name and last name age and department last name and here we will be writing string and here h pmp underscore last and in the last we will be writing string because it is the string here we will write in depth r is not get string here just write depth or whatever your column name is emp underscore is emp underscore so just write here emp underscore and just after writing this just write here for setting the text on the text field like the text field 1 2 3 and for it we will be using combo just write here j text field one dot set text here we will be writing id and we have done this because it is the end part and 
we have written here dot set text that's why it's not accepting so for that we will be adding two quotes plus id and next here we will be writing j text field two dot set text and here we will be writing name whatever variable we have used here spelling mistake and here we will be writing the text field 3 dot set text name and here we will be writing last and here we want to use for j combo box so just write j combo box one dot set selected item and here we will be writing age and at last just write j text field four dot set text here just write depth and that's off let's run a program and when I click here the data should appear here so you can see the data is coming but age is not coming so for that let's check what's the problem here let's use string now let's run a program again and it should work now it's working you can see in this way you can fetch your data to your JTEX field also and that's all for today please rate comment and subscribe for more videos and bye for now